The numbers on the streets of Bangkok fluctuate, but there's no end in sight to Thailand's anti-government protest. For the past three months, they've been trying unsuccessfully to remove the administration led by Prime Minister Ying Lak Shinawat. On Sunday, their goal was to disrupt an election that was called to try to ease the tension. In some places, they succeeded in stopping the vote altogether. The election was boycotted by the largest opposition party, which is now asking the court to rule the vote invalid. There was an opportunity throughout these past two months for the government to see the light uh, and acknowledge that February the 2nd election wasn't going to provide a solution for the country. The impasse has been going on for years, resulting in violence on many occasions, including on the eve of the election. The Democrats say in order to end the crisis, the government needs to set up a council, subject to a referendum, that will implement wide-ranging political reforms. But they say it's refused to hold discussions. Not true, says the ruling Pua Thai party, which insists it too wants to talk. But it says the people protesting, who mainly support the Democrats, aren't interested in negotiating. The anarchists I mean, in the street, they just want to overthrow the government, overthrow the whole system. They said about legitimacy of the government, and they want to overthrow the government through every means. Because of the election disruptions and a possible court case, the results can't be announced, meaning Thailand will continue to be run by a caretaker government. Adding to the uncertainty in Thailand at the moment is the issue of royal succession. King Pumipon Adunyade is 86 and has been unwell in recent years. He's often regarded as being a steadying influence in times of crisis. The gap between the two sides is so wide that some are even talking about the prospect of civil war. So far, the army is remaining neutral. The man who led the last coup in 2006 says any military intervention would be fought by government supporters. If the army steps in to help the protesters, they'll be the enemies of the other side, people from the north or northeast, so the army won't intervene. Every soldier is aware of that, so they stay neutral and let the people solve the problems themselves politically. At the moment, that seems to be something they can't do.